Another useful graphical representation is a scatter plot, so plotting one data series against another. Graph, scatter, simple scatter. And here we might already guess that there again might be a negative relationship. So the higher the population growth, the lower the per capita income level. So now we continue with our original aim, namely to uh, perform an ordinary squares on cross-sectional data and we want to perform or estimate this equation. We've created our variables. Now next thing before we start we have to consider again what are the necessary assumptions that an ordinary least squares estimation works. And those are the so-called Gauss-Markov assumptions which are as follows. First assumption, the true model is linear in parameters which is the case in our model. These, uh, these variables are usually called the explanatory or independent variables and the explanatory variable, the one which we want to explain by the independent variables is called the dependent variable. And usually we also have an error term. Second assumption is random sampling. That means the data sets have to be IID, that is identically and independently distributed. That is the case uh, in our estimation as well. We have a selection of randomly selected countries, so to say. Uh, next thing is X has to be uncorrelated with U, where X means all the independent variables. So there must not be any correlation between any of the independent variables and the error term. And we must not have a linear dependence of the regressors. Regressors again is the independent variables. When the first four conditions are fulfilled, the ordinary squares estimation is consistent. That means the coefficients we are estimating are correct and not biased. If the last condition is true as well, namely homoscedisticity and no autocorrelation in the residuals, then our estimator, the ordinary least squares estimation, is also the most efficient estimator. Okay, let's start our ordinary least squares. We do so by using going to quick estimate equation and type our equation. It's basically this format which is here shown in an example. So our dependent variable is logarithm of GDP per capita, L GDP per capita equals some constant plus some coefficient times our independent variable or explanatory variable or regressor population growth. And the method is ordinary least squares. And here we have our result. For your information, the same um, tool can also be started directly from the command line window by the command ls least squares. If you're interested in uh, finding out about any command, the help uh, is, of the eViews is really very much can very much be recommended. So you just go to help, have a look for example at uh, the ls command and you will find loads of information and usually also some examples, some useful examples. Okay. After having performed our ordinary least squares estimation, we will do uh, two types of analysis. First, uh, a statistical analysis and then uh, econometric analysis. Uh, the statistical analysis starts with uh, checking whether our coefficients are significant. 
which in our case is perfectly so, we have a 0.0, .0 probability that our coefficients are uh, 0, so it's highly, they are highly significant in our model. This is also represented by the t-statistic and in combination with the standard error. Another important statistic of an ordinarily square is the R squared. In our case it's uh, 0.15 or 15%. That means that 15% of the uh, dependent variable is explained by our model. The maximum value for R squared is 1. Uh, a value uh, lower than 1 does not necessarily mean that our uh, regression was bad. It simply states that our model is not complete. So we cannot explain, with this model we cannot totally complete or only 15% uh, uh, we can explain the dependent variable income level. Which makes sense because GDP per capita obviously also depends on other factors but uh, population growth. Uh, another way of seeing this is by using the few actual fitted residual graph. Here we see three lines. The red one is the actual data of the independent variable, GDP per capita. The green line would be the fitted data, so if we use our estimated model uh, and the data, we'll get the green line, which is close to the red line, but not perfectly close. And that is what we also got from the R-squared statistic, which just said that 15% of the variation of the red line is basically uh, explained by the green line. And the difference between the red and the green line are called this residuals, and this those are plotted down here. The residuals in general are also always created by eViews automatically in this variable.